So do you wanna know if that fix and flip is a good investment? Today we're gonna to show you some simple online tools and a spreadsheet that can help save you a lot of time and make sure you don't make any costly mistakes. Once you find a fixer that you think you like, find out the location, bed and bath, the square footage and the list price, and then you're gonna to go to a, a common website like Redfin. You type in Walnut Creek in this case, in this example, and then we're gonna go over here and instead of looking at the homes for sale, we're gonna look at homes that were sold. In this case, in the last three months. That'll tell us all the homes that were actually sold in the last three months in Walnut Creek. We'll put in three beds, two baths, single family homes, so we're comparing apples to apples. Now, all those pictures on the right, they look really nice, but all the data is in the table function. You just click on that table, and you see you have every single three bed, two bath, uh, that sold in the past three months, and you can sort it by price per square foot. So these top five or six are the actual five or six uh, best priced houses in that uh, neighborhood in the past three months. Takes the guesswork out, and you're not just uh, going on a gut instinct, you're using data. Then you'll come over here to a spreadsheet, you'll put in just a couple simple things, the square footage, the acquisition cost, or the list price, what the... Um, what the seller is actually asking for it. You see we have here our rehab costs, which we know are about $85 a foot for us. Carrying costs, which are usually about five to $6,000 a month. We'll put our ARV per square foot that we just got from the uh, previous website there, 10, 1080, 1080. And that gives us a total gross profit of about 122,000. So that sounds pretty good, but then we look down here, that discount to ARV, discount to after rehab value, is only 92%. That means we have just an 8% margin if something goes wrong. Uh, that's not something we'd be comfortable with. We wouldn't invest in that. So we have a couple options. We can move on, we can go find another opportunity, or we can go back to the seller and offer a lower price, maybe something like uh, a million fifty, and see if uh, they'll take that. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But what that does, that gets us a much more favorable discount to ARV of 80%, something that we can at least live with, and a gross profit over of $100,000. So using a simple spreadsheet like this saves you a lot of time before you even go to visit properties. We will run dozens of these different spreadsheets just to find one that merits more investigation. Doesn't matter what your gut instinct says, you have to follow the data. And many times this spreadsheet process will allow us to avoid mistakes.